This next lady, she is actually the uh, winner, the first place winner of the Eagle Rock Comedy Festival. She's adorable. She goes up all over town. Let's keep it going. A lot of funny ladies in the show. A lot of talented ladies. I feel like I'm at the damn little affair. Let's give it up for the lovely and funny Miss Ellen Daniel. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> you guys doing all right? Yeah? Come on, make some noise, man. Get that energy up. What the fuck? It's a comedy show, right? Fucking laugh. What the fuck? No, seriously, sorry, guys. But uh, I got a question to ask you guys. How many of you guys like to smoke weed? I know there are a few in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's my peeps back there. So, uh, for you weed smokers, let me ask you a question. You ever uh, get high and uh, bang a chick at the same time? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah? All right, listen to this. I got a story for you guys. Between you and me, the other night, I'm getting fucking blazed, right? <laughs> fucking blazed out of my mind. I'm talking on this blunt so hard, right? And I'm fucking this bitch in the ass simultaneously, right? And I start getting so fucking high, right? Because I'm exertion, you know? I'm getting exerted from like, from fucking her. And I'm like talking extra, extra hard, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm like fucking hallucinating, like from the pot, right? I'm like, holy shit, I heard about this. It never happened to me before. But all of a sudden, I'm like, holy fuck, I'm fucking Superman, you know? And I'm totally believing this shit. I'm like, I'm fucking Superman, man. And then I look down at her, I'm like, oh my God, she's the bionic woman. I freak out, right? I'm like, fuck, I pull out. She's like, oh baby, why'd you stop? I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> My dick is fucking blasted now. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> oh God, I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> Go get me a fat burger.
And, uh, you know, I'm not in advertising, but I just thought of like six million reasons. <laughs> Off the top of my head, why I thought was a shitty advertising company. <laughs> And you know, uh, sometimes people, sometimes people think, oh, that's awkward, you know, like, don't talk about the Holocaust. <laughs> You're not Jewish. But then, you know, I think, what's more awkward is like if a German person tries to make a joke about the Holocaust, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> My friend Katrin, she's like, Hello, my name is Katrin Seitz, I'm from Stuttgart. <laughs> yeah, okay, so like, listen, we are really tired of hearing about the Holocaust and like, the poor Jews, okay? It's like, right, my family suffered too. <laughs> they were convicted in the Nuremberg trials. never works. <laughs> I've seen her do it a thousand times, it never works. Here's the thing though, um, and I feel bad because a joke's a joke, why should she be pun you know, but that's another story. Anyway, so I'm writing this by a friend of mine here in LA, a young actress, and she says to me, you know, Ellen, um, I just have to tell you this, um, the Holocaust isn't really funny. Um, you're in Los Angeles, there are a lot of Jewish people here, and some of their grandparents might have died in penetration camps. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is the same girl that says, you know, I would lie about my age and say that I'm 22 or I'm really 27, but I'm really smart. So, people see through it, you know? <laughs> she also starred in Penetration Camp 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Good for her. What the fuck? I mean, what are we complaining about? Yeah. Um, so, homeless. <laughs> There's a lot of homeless people around. Um, you know, I think we're confusing them by giving them money all the time because here's the thing, they don't really know, they don't have like good spending habits. Um, there's this guy, you know, that sort of hangs out on the corner of my block and I mean, I've given him so much, so much, I mean, $50 over the last year. You know? <laughs> and uh, the other day, I'm in Whole Foods, and I, I see him there shopping, which is like, <laughs> haven't you heard? The markup here is insane. But, uh, you know, I have to go there to get a very special tea. That's, that's it, you know? <laughs> He's there carrying an organic mango, <laughs> right? And uh, this six dollar like cave bear, I don't know, like a, some sort of probiotic thing. And he's like, "Hey, <laughs> you shop here too?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know, I do, because I have a job." Um, <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but uh, you know, I just saw you sucking dick in the alley for crack. I don't know, like. An organic mango and some probiotics are not going to cure AIDS, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of offended, you know, that you, you're spending my money on that shit. So, listen, and now I'm trying to be cruel, it's just like educating, you know? So now I just, I give the homeless coupons to Ralph's because it's like, more bang for your buck. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a simple education. I mean, some of you are looking at me like I'm cruel. I mean, I also suck, suck their dicks. So. <laughs> 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 
I was um, I was sodomized recently. I don't know if that's like. Well, I feel like sodomy has a negative connotation, like you didn't want it. I don't know if I'm. So like I wanted it, so that it is like anally raped or sorry, anally fucked. Um, but the weird thing was Peter and the Wolf was playing in the background. And if you know that's a classical piece of music. So it's not bad. It was beautiful. It's just like okay. I think, I think time's gone by, and the sodomy thing took us to a different level. So. Um, is that the light? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, she's like, yeah, get off the fucking stage. <laughs> I'm all wet right now, I'm just kidding. Um, so, I mean, I am thinking about Peter and the Wolf. So, recently I went to Florida for my father's birth, and um, uh, something happened late in life. He wanted to convert to Judaism, whatever. So, um, he, uh, you know, he wanted me to videotape it. Anyway, uh, when I was flying back, I had reserved an exit row seat for myself, right? Because I'm tall and whatever. And I get on the plane, and I just want to like pop a lewd and relax, you know? <laughs> Too much time with mom. And I, uh, and I get to my seat, and there's a young Hispanic gentleman sitting there. And for all of you Hispanics, he was Hispanic. This isn't a racist thing. Anyway. Um, and so I said, excuse me, I think you're sitting in my seat. And he says, oh, hey, you know what? The thing is, like, my brother and I were supposed to be together, and he's kind of retarded, so, like, uh, you could just take my seat. He's a little further back. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Listen, the thing is, I specifically reserved this seat. He's like, oh, come on. I have the same thing. It's like an hour seat. It's just a little further back. You could take my seat. And I'm like, okay, but the thing is, I just really wanted an exit row because of like the length and stuff. He's like, okay, listen, bitch, you're really getting on my nerves right now. You are standing up. You could take my seat. It's an aisle seat. It's the same thing. It's just a little further back. And I was like, okay, um, hey, Zeus, I can only assume that's your name because it's tattooed so beautifully across the back of your neck. In no world is your aisle row seat in row 32 interchangeable with my exit row seat in row 12. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? That's like us being in bed together and I think you're going to fuck me regular. But then you're like, come on, baby, let me fuck you up the ass. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not really comfortable with that. You're like, oh, come on, baby, it's the same thing. It's just a little further back. But you know. And I know it's not the same fucking thing as you're trying to fuck me up the ass right now. I'm not going to take it. And uh, incidentally, that worked, and we did go back to a seat. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs>